Hello, we are just starting a fast quiz titled Poland and Norway, friends or enemies? In the 10th century, a newly created country of Poland is ruled by the Duke Mieszko I of Poland. To strengthen and expand Polish territory located by the Baltic Sea, Mieszko makes his daughter marry the King of Sweden, Eric. The new queen, however, appears to be fiercely in love with the Norwegian Duke Tryggvason. When Eric dies, she marries Sven, King of Denmark and Norway. Soon a conflict is coined by her, which finally leads to the Battle of Svold in 1000, in which Tryggvason dies. How did the Scandinavians call this Polish princess? Storrada, which means proud. Right. In the 19th century, there is no Poland as a country. Its territory is divided by Germany, Russia and Austro-Hungary. However, Poland still exists in hearts and consciousness of Polish patriots, ready to fight for their country. After the fall of yet another uprising, the January uprising of 1863, many Polish insurgents are imprisoned and others, afraid of political repression, find shelter in different countries all over the world. Some of them get to Norway. One of them is a Polish charismatic master of photography, who in 1888 gets the position of a royal photographer. Do you know his name? I don't know. Ludwig Szczeciński. It's the Second World War. The Polish submarine Ożo moors in Estonian Tallinn, which is supposed to be a neutral harbor. Totally unexpectedly, the military authorities board the ship, in turn the crew, confiscate all the navigation aids and maps and start removing all the armaments. The captain and the crew decide to run away and sail off. They manage to outsmart the occupiers and escape into the Baltic. With no maps, sailing at night and using just the Lighthouse's guide, Ojo successfully gets to England. It's an incredible story, soon glorified in Western press, with the chief officer being called a navigation genius. What is the name of another famous Polish warship, which together with Ojo took part in the Narvi campaign and many allies convoys? It is now preserved as a military museum ship in Polish Gdynia. Perfect. It's the 9th of April 1940. In Oslo Harbor, the Norwegian commander Oskar Borg is caught with a dilemma if he should let an allegedly peaceable German battleship Blucher into the harbor. The atmosphere is already tense, as a day earlier the Polish submarine Ojo sank an unidentified ship which turned out to be a camouflaged German transport ship with German soldiers going to the coast of Norway. Finally, the commander decides to attack German Blucher, which is sunk. A very similar situation happened a few months earlier in Poland. A German battleship arrived in Gdańsk with, as it was said, a peace visit. Unexpectedly, it opened fire at 4 a.m. starting the Second World War. Give me the name of this German battleship. Schleswig-Holstein. Of course. Poles and Norwegians served in the same squadron which delivered food and ammunition to occupied Europe. Do you know its number? 189. Yes. From the very beginning of the Second World War, Polish paratroopers are perceived to be top class. Polish officers become highly respected instructors who train Norwegian paratroopers. Later on, both Polish and Norwegian soldiers take part in the airborne assault operations of allies. After the war, many Norwegian paratroopers still proudly wear badges of another country. Which one? Poland, probably. You are right. After the war, Poles for many years fight with Soviet communist dominance. The high point of this fight is the foundation of independent self-governing labor union Solidarity, Polish Union founded in 1980 at the Lenin shipyard under the leadership of Lech Wałęsa. In 1981, the government attempts to destroy the union by imposing martial law in Poland, which is followed by several years of political repression. Which country provided shelter for some Polish Solidarity members and even founded an organization which supported Polish Solidarity? No idea. I don't know. It was Norway and the union was called Solidaritet Norge Puli. Now watch the material recorded a few days ago. Do Norwegii zawitałem 5 lat temu. Tak jak wielu Polaków. Norwegowie są bardzo gościnni. Tutaj klimat jest ciężki, dlatego Norwegowie przepadają za owocami szczególnie leśnymi. Maliny, jagody, żurawina wykorzystywane są do deserów, sosów, po smaku słodkiego. Góry, jeziora, pejzaże norweskie oraz kultura skandynawska to ciekawa przygoda. Jesteśmy tutaj gośćmi, nie wrogami. Why do you think he and other Poles went to Norway? To work. To work? I think the same. So the final answer to our basic question. Poles and Norwegians, friends or enemies? Friends. Friends. I think so.